there is a good predictor of how, how efficient you will be in building the strength and size of a given muscle. And it has everything to do with those upper motor neurons that are involved in deliberate control of muscle. You can actually do this test right now. You can just kind of march across your body mentally and see whether or not you can independently contract all of your muscles. So for instance, if you are sitting in a chair or you're standing, see whether or not you can contract your calf muscle just using those upper motor neurons, sending a signal down and deliberately isolating the calf muscle. Okay. If you can contract the calf muscle hard to the point where that muscle almost feels like it's trying to cramp, like it, it hurts just a little bit, you know, it might, it's not going to be extremely painful, nor is it going to have no sensation whatsoever. Chances are you have very good upper motor neuron to calf control. And chances are, if you can isolate that, what they call that brain or mind muscle connection, and you can contract the muscle to the point where it cramps a little bit, that you hold a decent to high potential to change the strength and the size of that muscle if you train it properly. Now, if you have a hard time doing that, chances are you won't be able to do that. If, for instance, you focus on your, your uh, back muscle, like we all have these muscles called the, the lat, the latissimus dorsi muscles, which basically are involved in chin-ups and things like that, but their function from a, from a more of a kinesiology standpoint is to move the elbow back behind the body. Okay, so it's not about flexing your bicep, it's about moving your elbow back behind your body. If you can do that mentally, or you can do that physical movement of moving your elbow back behind your body and you can contract that muscle hard, chances are that you have the capacity to enhance the strength and or size of that particular muscle because you have the neural control of that muscle. 